and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back his time. What purpose does the gentlelady from the Virgin Islands seek recognition? I rise to address, address the House for one minute. The gentlelady from the Virgin Islands is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to express my disapproval to the Radwagon Amendment to the Surface Transportation Bill, which was ultimately defeated last night, 113 to 310. This amendment would have required the Secretary to change the allocation program funds made available to the territories. This amendment would have potentially harmed my district, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Guam by possibly taking already minimal funds away from these two territories. The funding provided in the Transportation Bill is yet another example of this Congress's inability to address the real needs of the U.S. territories, whose economies have not recovered and require additional support. And while I certainly recognize and empathize with the frustrations of some of my colleagues from the territories, it is the limited funding within this bill which has created an environment where we are literally fighting over scraps. The proposed funding in the bill barely provides any increase to the historically low allocation for the Territorial Highway Program. I would like to thank both the Chair and Ranking Member of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, Mr. Schuster and Mr. DeFazio, for not supporting the amendment and for recognizing that this is not an amendment that enjoyed the full support of all the four smaller territories. I would also like to thank the Dean, Congresswoman Bordello of the Territories of Guam, for her efforts and engagement on this very important issue. I look forward to working with TNI leadership and staff and my fellow delegates from the insular areas on working together on resolving our problems. Right. Thank you. What purpose does the gentlelady from Arizona seek recognition?